Nanoscience and nanotechnology are the study and application of extremely small things and can be used across all other science fields such as chemistry, biology, physics, material science and engineering. It's hard to imagine just how small nanotechnology is. One nanometer is a billionth of a meter. Here's some ways to show just how small it is. There are 25,400,000 nanometers in an inch. A sheet of newspaper is about 100,000 nanometers thick. On a comparative scale, if a marble were a nanometer, then one meter would be the size of the earth. Nanomedicine then is the use of nanomaterials, things like graphene, which we've created here in Manchester, combined with nanotechnology, the engineering of tiny machines. It's used in medicine to help the prevention and treatment of disease in the human body. This evolving discipline has the potential to dramatically change medical science. It has paved the way for the development of new or more efficient diagnostic devices and applications such as needleless injectors, hearing aids, medical flow sensors and blood pressure, glucose monitoring and drug delivery systems. More promising and exciting applications of nanomedicines are to come. In the future we may see diagnostic nanomachines employed to monitor the internal chemistry of the body, mobile nanorobots equipped with wireless transmitters circulating in the blood and lymph systems and sending out warnings when chemical imbalances occur or worsen, fixed nanomachines planted in the nervous system to monitor pulse, brainwave activity and other functions, implanted nanotechnology devices dispensing drugs or hormones as needed in people. The most advanced nanomedicine involves the use of nanorobots as miniature surgeons such machines might repair damaged cells or get inside cells and replace or assist damaged intracellular structures. At the extreme, nanomedicines might replicate themselves or correct genetic deficiencies by altering or replacing DNA molecules. Our mission is to generate and share fundamental knowledge in the emerging field of nanomedicine by bringing together bioengineering, pharmacology and nanotechnology and their translation to advanced treatments and diagnostics that help to better diagnose and treat patients. Please contact me, Sarah Barton, in the strategic funding team for further details about the Nanomed Network.